guess that was Joe Bloody in here and Golden Egg packs are back, but they're here with a twist this time. It's the first time they've done this, and now you can get them as plans. So we're not opening any packs today, we're going to go claim one of them and play with them. So yeah, there's these golden packs. Um they're gonna come back and stuff, but at the moment they limit them, so bundles guaranteed one golden egg item so that's either a golden egg token or a golden egg player and then there's 10 single packs 1k few points or 10k few points for the bundles um so you can get tokens now the tokens are to get any of them so the lowest one is muriel and neymar at five muriel obviously the guy who chose muriel didn't i give him any boost which is a bit bit, bit of a panic but i guess the guy didn't realize there's this neymar but obviously he only boosts brazil and um, obviously most people have Royce. We've got the two Ronaldos and the Klezma. We've got the Bale. We've got the Messi, the Abemiang, which we already have. Then we've got the McAllister, the Morris, the Kante, and the Casillas. And we've obviously already got the Kante. Now, obviously, Abemiang's just been sitting on my bench there, not using him. So I thought this would be a good opportunity because if you get him, you can use the Golden Exchange. A bit of a egg play on word from EA there. Trading any Golden Egg player to receive five Golden Egg tokens. But this plan does not accept Joker tokens. Apparently, when the plan first went live last night, it briefly did accept Joker token, so some people did that. So we're going to put Abemiang in here. Obviously, this was given to by EA. We've just been sitting there, and now we can get these golden tokens. And I thought let's use these as an option to make a new video. So we'll get the five golden egg tokens, and we're going to put them straight back in to get the Muriel. Claim Muriel. No, nope, we've gone off him. And then we're going to play with Muriel today. See what he's like. Because his stats look really, really impressive. It's a shame the guy didn't choose any boosts for him. Um, but I thought we could get him now. Because obviously we were talked about potentially selling that Abemiang. But it's a good job I didn't. Because now obviously we can um, try out Muriel. And maybe try and get a few more tokens. And try out some of the other plays. So we can sort of keep it going that way so we've claimed that muriel do you really want to try McAllister right in the middle of the park and um jordan morris although if you haven't if you want to see a review of jordan morris make sure to go check out on foothead because luke zim from foothead did do a review so we'll bring this muriel in oh this muriel Whew. 121 pace 102 shoot well that's the booster that's um dragging back out by bases, 113 pace, 107 dribbling, 96 shooting, 87 passing, 52 defending, 83 physical. If you remember with Abemiang, Abemiang was 115 pace, 97 shooting, 88 passing, 96 dribbling, 50, um, 49 defending, 79 physical. So, Muriel is edging him massively, massively, and the dribbling of 107 compared to Abemiang's 96. But Abemiang is a little bit faster and a tiny bit better at shooting so we're gonna pull a uh, muriel in here we'll use him this way we'll make sure everyone's set up 442 that's how we're rolling and we'll play some versus attack matches um obviously one minute 30 on the clock for these now i haven't played any yet so these are my first one minute 30 experiences so we'll see how that goes um and yeah here we come against first leo who looks like he's won one or two games so far so he's on a roll and um looking forward to it of course one of the good things with this is that for the first time since obviously during easter when anyone could have technically got one of the players we've now got a situation where anybody anybody can get these tokens because you can actually get those golden egg tokens from versus attack mode wins. Now, I imagine they'll be very, very rare and hard to get. Um, I can't imagine the drop rate being too high because at the end of the day, they're 99 rated cards, very, some of the best cards in the game. So I wouldn't expect them to be easy to get, but people have been showing them off and showing that they've managed to pack them from versus attack wins. So you have got that opportunity. And here we've got a chance with Muriel and we get it past Buffon to make us one nil in front. Um, he, here we go, Robin. All right, this should be a goal. Oh, wait, he's got his fingers, and we've got it in the back of the net in the end. Not sure what happened there, but Modric is going to come in with it. It's very tense, one minute 30. Like, we've only got... <laughs> oh, this... I, I, obviously, this is the first time I'm playing it since the change. I've played numerous league versus league, but there's nothing quite as intense as a game that's only one minute 30 long, 90 seconds, which sort of mirrors 90 minutes. 
Um, someone was suggesting it'd be nice if they actually just showed it rather than one. Well, I guess one minute 30 is easier for people to see counting down. But imagine if it did it in real time. So it showed 90 minutes, but each minute was a second. So it did it that way. And we are starting to run away. Muriel performing with everything that's put in front of him. But I have heard some people having weird reports with the goals coming very, very later. Like the goals have been all over the place at the moment. And people's goals have just been shooting up. So it's been like they're winning. And then all of a sudden, three goals have been slapped on the score. So we need to be fearful of that. Although it doesn't seem it this way. And we should have a chance to take this. And Robin, yeah, 7 1. Pretty pleased with that. 7 1 in my first game. If it is 7 1, in fact, I'd like to think he's potentially scored a few more than one. Uh, but mm, let's have a look. Yeah, he's got um, himself two great chances. That's a pretty even game, really. Um, obviously, I took my turns a little bit faster, but we both had the two ch two great chances, and I was just a little bit quicker with a good chance and basic. I guess that's from getting the free kicks as such. So that's 7.7 .7 fans for the first one, and obviously in these victory tokens, there is a chance. There wasn't that time, but there's a chance of getting golden egg tokens. So let me know who you guys would like, want to potentially see me pick up next. I'm thinking that McAllister, maybe you do want to see the Morris, but like I say, Foothead have reviewed one, so go check that if you want to. Uh, but obviously these can all be arranged to, um, I, I can get on board and get these arranged and try and do reviews of any of the other ones if anyone's interested. Uh, one of my league members is looking, uh, is trying to see us. So when the next round of packs come out, he's going to get Casillas. He should have enough to get him. And then I can maybe play a bunch of games against Casillas. If you want to see what Casillas is like as a keeper, I can play against him a bunch of times. So let me know if you'd like to see that. And we're playing Ostan, who's on a roll in FIFA champion so far. He's already got 44,000 fans. So he's doing pretty well. But yeah, I'd like to try out McAllister. Potentially like to try out Morris. I'm not too interested in the others because obviously we've already got a 99 Bale. We've already got a 99 Ronaldo. We've already got a 99 Messi. Um, it's really annoying when you think about it that um, after all this and now that they are available. Like, this is what happened on Madden. Madden did the golden ticket, which is basically the same thing. And then um, they all came out into packs. So it's just a shame, really, that um, we haven't got much variety with the cards. Like, they've all cards that have already got high ratings. Obviously, I imagine the people who picked them at the time did that because... They probably didn't think, maybe they were free to play or something and didn't think they was ever going to be able to afford the high rated version. So they wanted players. But um, yeah, pretty much all the players, apart from obviously Morris and McAllister, have got pretty high rated cards. Uh, which is a shame. We could have had some really exciting ones. And Oztan is proving his fan count worth here by um, ripping me up in the opening segments of this game. But we do finally get one on the board. However, it has took us half of the time to get there. But Muriel should it bring us to 3-2 straight away so that's good but he does make it 4-2 and we've hit that too far but um yeah Muriel fails to win it after getting the initial knockdown he cannot pick it back up and yes sadly Lincoln Park means thing if you you guys I know some of you may be a bit too young to know properly Lincoln Park what a free kick how has that gone in crazy insane but yeah R.O.P. Chester Bennington sad news I used to listen to Lincoln Park a lot growing up so that's that's a shame to hear. Look, I'm sure, was I, did I miss that? Or did it just go from four to six? You'd probably say it was already showing five when I look back. But um, yeah, we've definitely not played as well as we did last game. Obviously last game we got ourselves, what, seven goals. This game we get four and he scored six. So we've only got ourselves to blame in that game. It was a poor, poor start. Um, but yeah, I'm still getting used to this camera angle. Even chances couldn't separate us, but because he's that bit higher, we only lose 5,900 fans and it still leaves us on a positive. Now, I'm going to hold off a couple of moments just to let him search again because I'd rather. Well, I reckon if we played how we did the first game, we could take him. I do like to get try and get different different opponents. Um, who's leading the way at the moment? We're the Tiger and Pang in second. Pang was first last night and I can see Pang going for it and potentially getting it now. Obviously, Daniel getting it yesterday this week and daniel if anyone saw daniel's team before um just before the reset he had a lot of interesting players in there he'd gone for a lot of pacey silver young guys and also you may have noticed he had the holy trinity at center back bailey shadu i forgot the third member bailey shadu and 
it's gone completely blank. And now we come up Jirocco, who's got 60,000 fans already. So this is going to be another tough game. But you never know when it comes down to it. We are playing with Muriel. And he's, he's performing quite well for us so far. I don't think he's missed anything, has he, from the chances he's had. Of clear-cut chances, obviously. There was that one when I tried to pass to him, which I overhit. And he knocked down, but couldn't retain. But for as far as his one-on-ones go, we've come against 111. He did capitalise on the da David Luiz already. We should have... We should have got them value packs at the weekend. Let's just mute that because I don't like him getting in the way. Let's just send him one anyway, just to be polite, um, in case he was mean in good wealth, in good health, even. Muriel, go on for some. No, that was never happening. Them, them shots you can't take. But this should be good. Muriel, there we go. Muriel, when he's through, I'm very impressed with him. Obviously, I will be going back to Bale. Um, can't really if at, at FIFA champion. I can't really afford to have anyone in my team who doesn't offer me boost. So Aguero will be sitting in that slot, and that's a lovely take by Robin. Gone silver commit to us, and then Robin can slot away there. Love it when there's just that one player, and yeah, they've added it now. So most of the time it will say who's actually scored for them. Bale scored, Di Maria scored for him. There it would often say. There are a few situations when I've seen uh, for people it comes up as saying unknown scored. I guess that's when. Um, rather than just say player scores they put on name when they the server lag maybe means that they can't see who's scored uh, nothing too unusual there just just EA things go on Robin oh lovely lovely we're playing well here but he's hot on our tail and we cannot afford to make any mistakes come on there we go Muriel I thought that what's that message I should have turned what's up message before getting into these games what's that messages are definitely not needed when you're trying to concentrate on versus attack mode games and they're rolling in now. Obviously, everyone's um, discussing about the Chester Bennington death. RIP, Lincoln Park lead singer. Oh, finish. I thought his defender was going to get a block on that. But this is going to be a big win. And with him being on 60,000 fans, that could um, that could do very well. Unless the scores are delayed. But that's going to be a fifth goal for him. For Bale. Bale's got a five for him. What have we got this? 111 win. 8-5 win. Those chances are very, very interesting. There we go. And that next is 9,000 fans. Very, very nice indeed. So that should put us up to, what, about 10,000 or so. Victory attack taken there. So, yeah, 11,000. We've definitely started this FIFA champion a lot better than we have the past few weeks. Muriel has been very, very clinical. Very much enjoy using him. But, yeah, let me know which golden egg player you want me to try and get hold of next. We've um, got some interesting stuff coming out over the weekend. So leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. Come follow me on Twitter at HD. And I'll see you all later. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love.